what a treat, what a treat. The killer bees are ecstatic. Uh, this is my favorite female leopard that we see over all our traverse. Brian, is, what, where is she rank for you? I don't know, it's only my third time. Only Brian's third time seeing this female. It is not one of the females we see too often, although we have been incredibly lucky over December with a lot of sightings. This is Inkanyeni, the queen of the east. Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? A lovely golden color. She's a bit darker. Her coloration is quite a bit darker than Karula, Shadow and Tandy. And I think that's what I like about her so much. Also, her lovely long fluffy ears. Oh, she's coming right towards us in this magnificent light. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you want to ask any questions about this exquisite female leopard. Hello, madam. She is gorgeous. Oop, out of frame she goes, right behind the car. And we do need to thank Andrew for this. Isn't this awesome? Thanks very much, Mfo. You've made my, my, my end of 2016. It's my favorite thing, right? Yes, it is. Did you see me try to drive out of the wild dogs this morning? Oh, it is very bad. Yes, yeah, so sir, you heard me there. Andrew's asking if my clutch was working now. Uh, my clutch stopped working during our rehearsal this morning, and we were following wild dogs, which made life quite difficult. Now, I just hope she hangs around so we can bring the new year in with the incredible Inkanyeni. And who knows, maybe the young Vutomi, uh, who is her about 13 and a half month old uh, male cub. We need her to catch something nice and big and sit in this big marula tree we're going to park underneath. There we go. Beautiful tree for a beautiful leopard, maybe she'll even climb it. I have seen her in trees quite regularly. Her name in Kanyeni is actually a marula tree and it's because of her fondness for sitting in big marula trees. So Andrew said she was calling a little bit earlier so she could be looking for the young Riff Raff Vutomi. Oh, now see what she's doing now. She's going right into that thicket. Uh, there could be a scrub hair in there. It's a good place for a stembok to rest. So. I love it when leopards do that. When we've seen quarantine do that, we've actually seen them catch a scrub hare doing exactly that. She might have smelt something, heard something that just made her want to have a quick look in that little thicket. And you can see how that dappled camouflage works fantastically well. And it sounds like a lot of you out there are just as happy as I am to see the beautiful Queen of the East. And her young male, Vutomi, is also becoming a fast favorite of mine. But I do have a soft spot for all young male leopards around that age. Oh, she got stuck in there. <laughs> Janet is wondering how old Inkanyeni is. She's, uh, if I remember correctly, she's uh, 11 or so. No, maybe a bit younger, 11 or 10. Oh no, she's found something she likes. There's a plant that she's rubbing out. She must like the smell. Now, we don't get catnip here, but leopards do like certain smells and they do like to rub up against those smells. And I think she, that's exactly what's happened. She's probably found Now, for a second, I thought that was a naughty plant, and I, 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 I just have a look there, but I actually know what it is now. I think it's called a, a khaki boss, and it's a very strong smelling plant, and it does tend to have uh, the, the slight look of uh, <laughs> another plant species, of course, uh, 
marijuana is what it looked like, but it is not a marijuana plant. Of course, marijuana is indigenous to Africa, uh, but that is not. It is it's a, a, a thing called khaki boss or khaki weed, and it is a really strong smell. I find the smell quite unpleasant, but obviously she really likes it. I'll try, if I see some, I'll try, oh, there's some right next to us. Break off a branch and see what, I don't know how to describe this one. Maybe Brian will be able to do it better than I. Sorry, one second. If I keep coming, she's on Hornbull's nest still. She's stationary at the moment. Isn't that incredible? She's absolutely loving that khaki boss. Oh, and I said, I don't, I don't know how to describe the smell. So I'm just leaning out of the car to pick some, and it's right next to us. Yeah, it's definitely khaki boss she's rolling in. Brian, I'm going to give it to you. What would you describe that as? I find it quite unpleasant. Brian's thinking. You're delicious. You like the smell. I think it's a childhood, me childhood memories of having to cut it out because it can be a, a serious weed in, in your grandmother's garden. Very sweet. Mm. A very sweet smell. Mm. Sweet with a sort of, I'm trying to think, it, it reminds me of something, but I can't remember what it is. Mm. Very nice. I see, I, don't, I think it's those, those weeding days that remind me of it, that I don't like the smell. But she certainly loves the smell. Now imagine that, now you can see how difficult it is to find an elusive leopard. If we were driving, the road is probably 15 meters from here and you would not see her sleeping in the base of that thicket.